Hi, I'm Adam Frontrunner, Magnum PIMP, co-founder of the St. Louis Gatekeepers and member of Team USA Men's Roller Derby. I'm here today, we're going to talk about setups. Setups are important to get opposing blockers off balance, to open up lanes, and uh, to keep them guessing on the track. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to starts and talk about starts. Setups are utilized on starts by changing your position and seeing how the opposing blockers react to that position. So if I line up right here and I broadcast that this is going to be my start, these players are ready, they know I'm coming here, and they're just going to be in the best position possible for that start. So I highly suggest against lining up and just attacking exactly where you're lined up. You have 20 seconds, 25 seconds, actually 30 seconds, to line up and test the wall. So I would come here, see how they respond, come here, see who's over responding, see who's under responding, see who's just a dead fish waiting for action. Then once you decide where you're gonna, when you're gonna attack, you could attack a different hole and then redirect and go to the actual hole that you want. So in this situation, if I wanna attack here, I might line up right here before the five seconds, attack for two, come back, and then go to my hole. Setups are utilized in starts by manipulating the position of the opposing blockers. If I line up on the inside, they're gonna crunch in a little bit and overpower the inside. So if I stand up here before the start of the whistle, the, the blockers are all in position and ready for my attack. I highly suggest against just lining up exactly where you're gonna start and attacking that seam. It's a good idea before the jam to position yourself in front of different seams, see how the opposing team's blockers respond to you. And also, if they're over committing, it could be a great way to get them all to suck to one side. You hear the five second call, you go all the way to the other, and then when the whistle blows, you attack that. If, if they overcommit to one side, you go to a different hole, pop through that, and then you're good to go. Setups on open track can be used to pull players off the inside line and to open up holes that you want to attack. If I want to attack the inside of the track, I'm not just going to go straight to the inside of the track because then that lane's going to be closed off. What I would do in that situation is I would come to the outside of the track, pull that blocker off, maybe throw a fake, get the commitment, and then pop it back to the inside. Uh, opposingly, if I want to open up the outside, I could go straight at Prime's back, throw a fake in, and then pop out, and then use all that track space that I just opened up. You have a lot of control on where the opposing blockers go. It's almost like you have a magnet. The farther to the outside you go, they suck out a little bit. The farther to the inside you, you go, they also close off that inside line. So you have control over where that opposing blocker goes based on your position. Way to utilize setups in two-man walls is to really try to stretch out the opposing players. First, you might want to come, attack to the outside to get them to pull out, cut it back in to get this player to separate, and then go to the middle because that is going to be your safest lane. You take the outside or the inside, you have the possibility of getting knocked out of bounds. So you want to stretch them out, you want to open up the track by attacking out, throwing a fake to the inside, get those players separated, and then attack the middle of the track once you get them off balance. Getting players off balance is key to getting past them, and that's where setups are super important. Thanks for checking out this video on setups. Remember, how you position yourself on the track determines how the opposing players attack you. When you go to the outside line, they pull off the inside. When you attack the inside, they lock down that position. For more videos and tips and tricks, visit Adam's Facebook page.